sorry about the technical difficulties again. Anyways. Dang it. Alright, everybody. This is your main man. Let's react. And today, I was really judging, not judging, but de debating on whether I should make a video like this. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. We'll make something out of this, hopefully. But I'm not really going to do anything with this video. I'm just going to ask some question. Ask a question. Now, so far, everybody, so far, as you can see, this is my most powerful right now. Is a Flareon with a CP of 706 right now here's my question I feel like a bounty hunter going out and catching these Pokemon but yet I get no glorified reward out of it so here's what I want to ask all of you I want to ask y'all to leave down in the comment section below a Pokemon you would like for me to catch now of course I'm gonna list all the Pokemon so far and I've caught one by one from strongest to weakest. And if you do not see the Pokemon you would like for me to catch, list it down in the comments section below if you want me to try to catch it. And I'll release a video each week about this game. I mean, every once in a while, my. Because me and my family, me and my whole family, me grandmama, me grandfather, me mother, me stepfather, my brother, and me, my whole family is playing this game. I didn't think it would get this popular because my family and me, and me, we never play the same game. No, if I say Call of Duty, they say Battle, they say Battlefield. If I say Skylanders, they say some other shit, <laughs> like Tetris. Anyways, so you know, let me just start off by saying, it took me a while to get this freaking Flareon. You have no freaking clue. Well, you might if you actually play the game. If you don't, you have no clue. It is so cute. Look at it. Look, it's so cute and the fluffy tail. I want to play the fluffy tail. I want to play with it. And it's got that little wish on its forehead. That little wisp. Anyway, this is my strongest so far. Flareon of CP of 706. And also, let me make this comment right now or before the end of the video. Do not give me a Pokemon that is like uber rare. When I say uber rare, I mean uber uber rare. Like, it's gonna take me forever to freaking find and catch this fool. I'm a level 11 so far. I'm a level freaking 11. Hold up. Hold up. Let me show y'all. See this? I'm a level 11. I'm Team Valor, yes. Don't judge. I, put, I chose this team because I thought it was most fitting. My brother, he's a Team Mystic. My, my parents are a Team Instinct. Yeah, this whole house is divided. Can't even walk a foot. Without freaking getting some stupid crap. Start date. Like last, a few weeks ago. I'm on level 11, and you know how it is. Especially with Team Valorant. And if so far, we've owned colleges, we've owned towns, we've owned almost everything down here in Florida. But yet, the only threat we have is Team Mystic, and that's because they own a few churches. Team Instinct, not so much. They don't really get active down here in Florida. Although I have heard they're getting pretty active in Wisconsin. So, uh, yeah, we're coming for you. Anyways, back to the Pokemon. Number one of all my favorite, not my favorite, but powerful Pokemon, is my Flareon. Again, CP of 706. His moves are Ember and, and or Heat Wave. For some reason, it's not showing where I caught it, so boo-hoo. Moving on. Now this Pidgeot, again, I had so much candy before I made this video, but on the way home with my family, because every weekend we go out Pokemon hunting, and I mean every weekend, we would get in the car, go out Pokemon hunting, we go to churches, we go to Pokestops, we go to everything. We went to all the way to what used to be known as Edison University, which by the way, owned by Team Valor. Yeah, that's right. We ain't scared of no one. Anyways. But I caught this Pidgey on the way there, and I was like, screw it, for just for the experience, because I was on the borderline of a level 11, like, screw it, I'm going to do this, and I, and I evolved it twice, and it was stronger than the Pidgey, uh, Pidgeot I had been working on for quite a while. The Pidgeot I had before was a CP of, like, 243, and this one, I hadn't even worked on it at all, and it already had a CP of 582. And I'm sitting here like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
So anyways, yeah. This be me Pidgey. His moves are Steel Wing and Hurricane. Next Pokemon. Next part. Third powerful. Get slide. Slide, I say. Podiana. I got this from an egg hatching, by the way. So, yeah. It was kind of cute at first. My mom seemed to really enjoy it. Podiana I kind of like just because she... Just because it's like fire. Straight fire. CP of a 281. Its moves are Tackle and Flame Charge. This Eevee. Okay. Only reason I have it is because I want to... No, no. Only reason I have it is because I want a Jolteon and or a Vaporeon. Look at it, it's so cute! If you have any comments or any notes on how to make them change into those, God damn it, change into those specific forms, please leave that also in the comment section below. Because I would like to know that. I already know the move thing, but that, that has not worked. Trust me, I've gotten two Flareons and they both have different moves. And I know of the name changer ones, where if I name it Sparky, it's going to change to a Jolteon. I just don't know if that's going to be 100% work. Because I don't want like a 40% 40% chance of working if it doesn't. So you know how it is. Anyways, we yeah, Eevee and its moves are Tackle and Body Slam. A CP of 262. This Bulbasaur. Now y'all know how hard it is to catch a Bulbasaur twice, right? If you ever gotten a Bulbasaur or any other three starters, this Bulbasaur, its natural habitat is right down the street. Literally, I could walk from here to it. It'd take me a minute, if less. At most, it would take me a minute to walk down there and get this Bulbasaur again and again and again. The reason I don't have so much candy is because, again, I only go on weekends and he's usually down there. Not all the time, he's usually down here. But the Bul this isn't the Bulbasaur I started out with. No, no, no. This Bulbasaur was the one down the street, right, cruising in its 6'4", for some reason. The Bulbasaur I had before was a CP of 52, and I saw this Bulbasaur with a CP of 201. I was like, well, fuck. Give me all. Anyways. And its moves are Tackle and Seed Bomb. On to me next, man. Golbat. Now, I have a story with this one. This one... He, I was just up visiting my dad one day, right? And I was like, you know what, screw it, let me pull it out. And I pulled out Pokemon Go, right the first thing that came out was a Golbat. And I was like, dang! And I was a level maybe 6 or 7 at the time when I first saw this Golbat. I was like, dang! I didn't even have to get a Zubat. Of course, I went back later and caught me a Zubat and traded in for some candy. But after that, it was, it was just this Golbat. As you can see, its moves are Biting Ominous Wind. Its CP level is a sep is a one nine one. Psyduck. This fool just happened is one of the derpiest characters out of all of Pokemon series. I don't know why I keep him around. I guess it's just for the freaking um Gold Duck evolution. He's a freaking badass. Anyways, um, its moves are Zen Headbutt and Psybeam. But yeah, on the freaking series, you're one of the most derpiest characters out there. CP level is a hundred and. 87. Moving on. Silly pig. I caught this fool at a park. At a dog park. Could you imagine being a dog and seeing this fool? Could you imagine being a dog and seeing this fool around the freaking park? You wouldn't know what to think of it. It looks like a freaking sloth. But it's adorable. No, I don't want to go back. I want to God damn it, slider. Anyways, CP is 177 and its moves are confusion and psycho shock. Psych shock. Raticate. This fool I fully fledged grew up from a Rattata. Now, as you can see, its CP is a 173, and its moves are Brighton Hyperfang. Jigglypuff. My mom describes this as one of the cutest Pokemon she actually seen. Like I said, if you knew the series, you would think she's a total bitch. Literally, total bitch. You, if you've seen the original series, the OG series, you would know what I'm talking about. Its CP level is a 156, and its moves are faint, or faint attack and play rough. I've never heard of play rough. I have all the moves. Anyways, my next one, Staryu. I just happened to catch this one at the park too, except I caught it near a lake. 
I was just walking around, you know, and my phone buzzes. And I'm like, ooh, let me see what it is. A star, you. Holy moly of God. I freaked out. I said, nope, nope, you gotta stop everything. Everybody stop. I thought, da 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 da. Its CP level is a 148. Its moves are a quick, quick attack and bubble beam. And star are hard to come across. That's why he's not evolved yet. I'll power the crap out of him. Next one, Ghastly. This fool I've caught twice. Twice. As you can see. And he's kind of cute, I mean, like, I've always wanted a Ghastly. I don't know why. He just seemed a cool dude to hang out with. Like, he'll linger in the darkness. His moves are Lick and Dark Pulse. CP is a 121. Crabby, 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 crabby. This fool creeps me out. Like, I caught him around my ankles at one point. I don't know why. His moves are Bubble and Water Pulse. CP is a 114. Oddish. CP is 107. I'll catch this fool on the dot every time I see him. His moves are Acid and Seed Bomb. The only reason I'm going fast now is because I because I only have 15 minutes recorded and I've already used 11, in it, 11 minutes of it. So I have 4 more minutes to explain how it works. Execute. Execute, I see him around the park a lot. That's about it. I don't really see him anywhere else. Its moves are Confusion and Psychic. CP is a 104. Move on, dang it. Sparrow. How does this freaking dude go from this to a freaking huge flipping bird? Look like Ho Ho. CP is a 102. And its moves are Peck and Aerial Ace. Don't know why I'm telling you the moves, just because of feeling. I have another Jigglypuff? Hold up, guys. I gotta do something. Sorry about that. I didn't. I don't like having two of one Pokemon. It creeps me out. Not creeping me out, but it, I just need to get rid of it so I can get the extra candy in hopes, you know. Anyways, I caught this fool on a limb. I. This is the only time I've seen him. I've only seen him once. After that, I haven't seen him ever. Cubone, CP of 83. Its moves are Rock Smash. Mm-hmm. And bulldoze. Let me tell you what. He smacks your balls around with the bone. Anyways, Bell Sprout. The only key I, reason I keep this fool around is because of his evolution form. Look at him. He looks like he's a knockoff brand from Plants vs. Zombies. Come on. He looks like the pea shooter. CP is a 75, and its moves are Vine Whip and Wrap. Let's hope he doesn't spit that fire. <clears throat> Eggins. Now, let me tell y'all something. You have no idea how hard it is to find this fool. I've been looking at him for three days, and I finally found him at the freaking park. His CP is a 75, and his moves are Acid and Sludge Bomb. Okay. Horsey. I found this fool at a college. A literal college. At full sale. Let me tell y'all something. Anyways. Move. He's a CP of 73, and his moves are Bubble and Flash Cannon. Shadowkin. Better not. As you can see, I almost have enough candy to evolve him. So, hopefully I'll see one today. CP is a 70. Its moves are Confusion and Psybeam. Durant, I don't know how to pronounce your damn name. CP is a 69. And your moves are Dragon Breath and Twister. You better be lucky to be on my team because I gave up Slyther for you. Because Slyther and this one popped up real quick. I was like, you know what, let me get this fool first. And then I'll go back for Slyther. As soon as I caught this fool, Slyther was gone. I was so freaking mad. Anyways. Paris. I like him. He looks so cute. He's like, give me your food. I caught him trying to take my remote on the TV stand. CP is a 62. And scroll down. Scroll. Scroll. Gosh. No, I don't want to go over. I said scroll down. His moves are bug bite and, and cross power. Is it? No, cross poison. I'm sorry. Next is Takuna. Actually, there might be a part two of this, guys. CP of a 55, and moves are Poison Sting and Struggle. It's been struggling all these years. A Dorian, male version, CP of 50, and Poison Sting and Body Sting. This is part one, guys. I'm about to make part two after this video. Please go check it out. I'll see y'all in a bit. Holla at your boy. Hit that subscribe button, and thank y'all for watching. Have a splendid day.